What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Amber Jules. We are now locked in with Poverty Terry. You know what it is. So what's the meaning behind your name, Amber Jules? Um, Amber is my real name. <laughs> so that's one. And two, the Jules part is like, you know how Jewel is like something special, is... Uh, it's priceless, you know what I'm saying, and it's unique. So that that kind of compliments. I ain't trying to sound cocky, but like, kind of who I am and what kind of person I am. So that's really the meaning of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of childhood did you have growing up? It was a good one, you know what I'm saying. I come from a good home. Uh, I got, you know, still do have a loving, hardworking parents. You know what I'm saying. They sacrificed a lot, so. I can do my thing as far as, you know, chasing a dream and having a good education, you know what I'm saying? Like, wasn't super rich, but at the same time, like, wasn't super poor. Like, you know, just hardworking middle class, you know. But it was, a, you know, it was a good childhood. I ain't, you know, ups and downs like any other kid, but yeah. Right, right. With people that's rapping nowadays and things like that, why do you think when certain rappers go, go to jail, it gives them a higher status, in your opinion? Yeah, I guess it's, I guess it looks cool, even though it's not cool to go to jail, but it's like, it, in a weird way, it's just bragging rights. I guess it make it, it may make you seem like you can handle your own, like you may be hard, and it, it in an ironic way, it comes with a good reputation, and, it, and I, it, it's weird. Like, I'm not condoning going to jail, stay out of trouble if you can, you know what I'm saying? And I understand life ain't easy too, so sometimes basically shit happens, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird. It, it sounds cool, but it ain't cool. Facts, facts. Who are some of the people that kept in touch with you since you decided to do music? Um, everybody. I don't really like, first of all, I don't really like associate with a whole lot of people closely. I, I may know a lot of people, but as far as like my inner circle, that's pretty much tight, you know what I'm saying? I would say like the people that I went to school with, they know who they are and uh, of course family, but you know, like I said, my circle is tight, but everybody pretty much keep in touch. It may not be on a everyday type of deal, but every time we talk or keep up, it's always good conversations and, and you know, just, you know, it's love. So they know who they are. Okay. What are some of your influences? In, in rap? In rap, in growing music. up? Uh, that make you want to do music? Well, for one, I just like, I like music. I love music. And and two, in order to rap, you got to be good with words. So, but as far as like influences, like I guess it's me as a person. Of course, I would say like my parents, of course, and um, just people that I grew up with. And um, maybe people that I never even met before, like athletes or or, or coaches or something like that. You know, just just things like that. And as far as rapping, it's so many people. It's, it's, it's really like from throwback to present day, it's so many I can name, but yeah, so. Okay. What kind of music did you listen to growing up? Of course, hip hop and rap, a lot of R&B, gospel was in the picture. Um, I, I guess like a, a little bit of rock and roll, just, just a little bit, but you know, it's just, it, it, you know, it's just kind of all kinds of music, basically. If it sounds good to my ears, I'll listen to it. Don't matter what genre, what ethnicity, what race, whatever. If it sounds good, it's, you know, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to bop to it, so. Okay, okay. Do you have a song slash mixtape that everybody fuck with? Well, I don't really have, like, a lot of projects out. I mean, in, 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 in my to my knowledge, you know, to my standard, but... I only have three out, Transition, Working on the Pressure 1 and Working on the Pressure 2. I got the, um, which the pre-order is available now, but uh, everybody really took to the um, the Working on the Pressure. Basically, like, anything that I put out, people just kind of take to, especially if I put visuals to it. So it's just growing little by little. I think people are kind of starting to see that I'm really taking this thing seriously, and then at the same time, I'm getting better every day. So it's just... You know, just, it's growing. I wouldn't say just a specific project. It's just like whatever content I put out, whether it's just a single or on a project, you know, people just take to it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why do you think rappers talk about what they're going through? It's therapeutic. 
I know if um you know it's just people people have a lot going on, man. It's just you know it's 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 a it's a great way to get it out, get it all out. Um, at least that's that's how I look at it. That's my reason. But um, I would hope people rap about what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah, it's just that's that's really all you know. That's really the bottom line of that. It's it's therapeutic. It's nice. It sounds good, depending on the production behind it, you know. And it just it kind of helps you give a a good peace of mind. You just get it out, you know what I'm saying? That's that's really how I look at it. So, facts, facts. What makes you different? I'm me, <laughs> pretty much. You know, it's just. Everybody's different. I'm different because it's just I'm just, I'm just me. It's just effortlessly and 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 just unapologetically. I'm I'm just me every day of the week. The only thing I, I probably change is like the mindset, the maturity, the evolution. You know, as you get older, but that's that's understandable. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. But as far as just what makes me different is just. You know, you're not gonna meet another Amber Jules. You might meet somebody similar or vice versa, but it's just like, as far as like originality, some things you just, you can't remix, so. Okay, okay. Well, talk to the streets for a second, man. What been on your mind? Just, hell, you know, a lot and, and nothing at the same time, you know, just working in music, working out, working in music, working out. Um, it's a lot going on outside, 2020, just been a hell of a ride, man, like. On some shit. It's, I have quarantine kind of shaped your life. It um, you just mm, everybody it, been having to kind of readjust to things and stuff. Well, not really as far as my household because okay. we, I mean, we we pretty much got jobs where it's like it's essential, so it, it ain't really affect us like in that sense. But it's like you see what's happening around you and and just what's going on in society. It's like. Man, I feel like the whole world is on flames right now, you feel me? Like, you got people passing away. Shout out to Nip, Kobe, you feel what I'm saying? What's dude named Chadwick, um, you know, the Wakanda dude. Not, You know, but, you know, dude that just passed, you know. Um, excuse the ignorance if I, you know, mis mispronounce his name, but Chadwick. Um, you know, you just got the environment just kind of doing whatever you got fires and storms getting out just outrageous and yeah. you got politics the elections and and how society's going um i feel like it's it's just a lot going on it's just you know it's it's it's, it's kind of like the wild wild west out here just on camera all right, all right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you just got to, shit, I'm just trying to maneuver and just kind of just staying out, just doing my thing and staying out the way as much as I can. Being on the scene, but not on the scene. Like being on the scenes at the right time, but when it's time to go, it's time to go. Like, it's like, you know, and then you got this corona shit going on, this COVID-19. Do you think it's real? <sighs> yes and no. Like, I, I feel like it's it's something out there, but the severity of it because at the same time i'm just the type of person i don't believe like 100 percent of what the media tells us but man the amount of people that's losing their lives that's not okay i don't care what angle you look at you know what i'm saying that's that's but yeah i think it's real but to a certain standard but something's definitely going on and right, it's not right. you know it's not what's up so do you know anybody that's caught it any family members i ain't gonna front my father caught it my okay. dad caught it Okay. But he should back. Shout out to my Superman. But you know what I'm saying? He would he he kinda like took sick. He kinda went down for a little second, but you know, just you know what I'm saying, just him shaking back, getting some rest, drinking some fluids, you know what I'm saying? But just over time. Cause he got he got tested and he, he had got positive, then just took off work, shook back, and then he got better, went back and then tested negative. But you know, it's people real deal losing their lives and stuff. It's 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 crazy, but as far as like who I know who caught it, nah, that's just my dad, but you know. How did that make you feel when you heard that he had it? I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, I kind of seen him kind of like going down a little bit. Not like dying, but like, like, oh shit, like he really sick. Because you know, some people just don't really get sick. They just not ill. Cause it's not like he in bad shape, but um, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, oh, like, so you know, 
just, you know, doing what I can when I can. So um, just to help him, but that's trying to be safe as well myself. So, you know, it was, you know, for a good couple weeks, maybe to a month, it was a, um, just was like just everybody was just on alert. But, um, yeah, he shook back. Okay. You know, shook back. Everything okay. good. But other than that, everything good. Everything good. Okay. So what made you want to get into the music game? Because everybody raps, you know, but what made yeah. you want to take it seriously and get into the game? I just, psh, man, that's a loaded question. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> it's um, for one, for me, it's therapeutic. Uh, two is like, I just feel like it's a way to get back out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at the game like as a, in a superficial way because I real deal respect the culture of rap, hip hop, like where it came from. Like, I respect the ghosts, the OGs. Like, I really respect the culture. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I understand words is powerful. Um, I just, I just want to like basically, I just want to use music and rap and my talents basically to just build up a good, a, a significant platform to have a positive effect on society and make a lot of money doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So okay. that's really, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like ever since I hung up my jersey, it's just like I. Right, I got to find another way to do that. And I don't think that a regular nine to five or even a decent paying job would do that. It's just like, oh, nah, I got to get back. I got to get back out there. So it was just like hip hop will rap. And, you know, that kind of just fell next in line. But, you know, I got other shit up my sleeve, too. But as far as that, yeah. And then okay. it's like, it sounds good, too. It's dope. So. OK. Well, you so far, you got three projects out to me. Mm -hmm. And um since being in the music game, is it everything that you thought it would be? Yeah, and I'm st I'm still learning too. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just look at the I just go into the music game, like understanding it's grimy before it gets pretty. Like it look glamorous, but at the same time, when it comes to like what really matters, that's when the snaky and grimy shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't necessarily get messed over like. I get, you know, you had your little lessons here, here and there, but it's just like, I, you know, I ain't really hit that wave yet where it's just like you really feel it. But I understand it's, it's you know, it's pretty much, yeah, everything I expected. You have the good, you got the bad. And it's just like, you don't, I don't really get too excited for the pros and the cons. It's just like level-headed. But yeah, so far, I would say so. Okay.